With Black Myth Wukong launches in just a few hours, let's do a last minute walkthrough of the final trailer and see what to expect in the game. The engraving on the cliff is Jin Gang Jin, the Diamond Sutra of Perfect Wisdom, a Buddhism classic about detachment and the unpredictable nature of existence. This dragon head on the right is from traditional Chinese architecture with the image of Chi Wen, aka Fish Dragon, one of the nine dragon suns, commonly found on the rooftop as a decoration for the main ridge. On the left, we can see a guardian of the gate, usually shows in pairs with the image of Shen Tu and Yu Lei, painted or carved on the main gate of a courtyard to safeguard and expel evil. We can also see an abundant amount of dragon motifs on this Chinese bass drum. All these dragon elements are shouting at us that a dragon is residing in this area. Based on the topography and the landform, he's most likely to be Black Long. We covered his law in detail in the second episode. Stone Mother from Gamescom trailer. She was in a cave in the demo, but now here welcoming our arrival. Other familiar faces, the Celestial Guardians. There are 28 mythological sculptures in total, representing the 28 mansions from Chinese astronomy. I'll make a dedicated video on them and perhaps an intro to Chinese mythology. Let me know if you are interested. Mi Le, the Buddha of future. Take a note cause we'll come back to him later. We've seen this werewolf, Guang Zhi, quite a few times in previous trailers. He serves in Guanyin Monastery under the command of Jin Chi the Elder. When Tripitaka and Wukong stays at their monastery, Jin Chi the Elder told Guang Zhi that he wants Tripitaka's cassock. Guang Zhi was like, that's easy master, just murder them. Shrink sizes into the air. That's exactly where Wukong keeps his staff. Very accurate. Red Whisker, another dragon son. We have episode 1 for his law as well. Check it out. Venomous transformation by getting Ou Bao from Boyist Mi's questline. Okay, new tentacle transformation. If you are into that. By the ladies. The old spider to be exact. Because of this iconic butterfly thingy. Maybe she's being possessed by this butterfly parasite. Cause in the trailer, her daughter said she's not herself anymore. I've made a video about the old spider's potential love story in episode 4. Definitely will make another video for their lore. A landkeeper is closely monitoring movements under the ice. A Chinese furnace. The squire here is doing alchemy and getting an empowerment pill of some sort. Doist me, the thing he takes away from us is the venomous transformation item, Obao. Spider Sis, she's my favorite, so pretty and cool. I reckon she's the fifth and the most rebellious one seeking freedom. She's actually wearing men's outfits which are designed for better movement. Very creepy. I can't imagine how much effort they put into this, even for a minion answering doors. Probably a Dragon King from the concept art. Folk Opera set from Digital Deluxe Edition. Performers put on this horrifying mask to dance in rituals or important events. The coins on the clothes are Kai Yuan Tongbao, an actual currency used since 621 in Tang Dynasty. A similar format is then followed by all dynasties and even Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. Native American people sold these coins on clothes as armor till they met rivals. Oh, baby Mi Le is offering you watermelon. So cute, but why? This story links to Huang Mei, aka Yellow Brows, a pupil of Mi Le in charge of musical instrument. He escaped while his master Mi Le was away and created a fake thunderclap monastery. 
then claimed himself to be Mi Le, the Buddha of future. When the real Mi Le found out, he asked Wu Kong to transform into a watermelon, then himself into a merchant. Huang Mei got thirsty after the fight with Wu Kong, so he asked the merchant for a watermelon. You guessed it. Wu Kong got into his stomach and caused him immense pain from within, forcing him to yield to his master. Macaque chief, he was one of Wu Kong's counselor at the Flower and Fruit Mountain. I wonder how he ended up here and became an enemy. Ghost, aka I see joy, is one of the six humanly desires. Jin Shi the Elder, the one who wanted to burn Tripitaka alive for his cousin. Is modeled after Isis Joy with a gold coating, a monk with a really long sword. This type of sword is called Miao Dao, with over 170 centimeters in length, which Japanese katana is derived from. But ironically, Miao Dao is most famous against Japanese pirates invasion in the 16th century. No comments on that. The infamous Tiger Vanguard. Because before the fight starts, he said he'll eat all monkey head with wine. But the funny thing is, so many players got killed by him at Gamescom, so this line became a meme in itself. I'm too full to another bite. Please try tomorrow. Poisonous King, or the Scorpion Lord, he has a very interesting storyline as well, trying to revenge his wife. Godric the Grafted, a giant with the painting "Thousand Miles of Mountains and Rivers" on his robe. The giant turtle, one who carried Tripitaka across the heaven-reaching river. In return, he wanted Tripitaka to ask Buddha how many years he can still live, but Tripitaka forgot the whole thing during audience with Buddha. So the giant turtle threw him into the river on their way back. Let's hope he doesn't do the same to us. Probably all commuting bug like the last stag in Hollow Knight. Blood Moon General or Dusk Way, who is responsible for Poisonous King's wife's death, he is probably a corrupted guardian from the Twenty Eight. I'll make a separate video for his storyline. Look at those sharpening scratches. This game's visual is insane. Jeez, finger creeper! I always hated them in Elden Ring. Another landkeeper, pushing our soul out of our body, just like the ancient one. Stone of the Brave. He's sealed for disobedient, but we can break him free. By gathering all six Buddha's eyes, he'll fight for us against Stone Vanguard. But keep in mind, he's a neutral unit. Better keep distance. Jeez, a swarm! I'm not a fan of spiders. This is likely to be Hundred Eye General, the uncle the spider sees refers to in the trailer. Don't tell me it's Mantis Tribe all over again. That's Huang Mei. He has two artifacts stolen from his master Mi Le that can be a great threat. One is this sucking bag of human seeds. The other one is Jin Nao, in fact, a musical instrument that gave Wu Kong a really hard time because it's almost impossible to break out from within. The four heavenly kings. Guardians of the Four Bearings of the Sky. In the novel, Wu Kong had a rather good relationship with them, and they even do a little gambling together to pass time. But I wonder why they seem to be hostile to our little monkey. That's everything I can find on the characters. Now let's move on to the songs. This chanting in the background is called Rebirth Mantra in Sanskrit. To put it simply, it means devotion to the light and Almighty Buddha. Praise the ones who practice and spread His teaching, such and such. But here in the song, 
Some very important lines about cleansing bad karma and achieving nirvana are missing. I reckon they've been deliberately left out so no one who practice this mantra can actually escape the reincarnation. Guess who has a vested interest? That's right, Huang Mei, he who encourages us to submit to our primal instincts. By keeping us running round and round, he can be the false god in this cycle. A second song we've heard before, called The Way of Heaven, performed by Zhe Lai Nu, its lyrics, three realms, four continents, seek not, hopeless one, long night, there's storm, right and wrong, black and white, inverted, sentient beings, in love, hate, greed, and anger, a tangled web of life and death. The cycle of karma and retribution cannot be broken. Humanly desires are the way of heaven. The three realms are the mortal realm, the immortal realm, and the hell. Four continents are Kalendor, Eastern Kingdoms, Northrend, and Pandaria. And I'm not even joking. This concept of the world is made by four continents is widely accepted way back in Chinese mythology with a different name, of course. The monkey king Wukong is from Eastern Kingdoms, Tripitaka, Pandaria, and the Buddha resides in Kalendor, with Northrend containing countless monsters which no one cares about. That's all for this video. Thank you for making this far. Don't forget to like and sub for more. I'll see you on a journey to the west, my fellow destined one.